I know this was supposed to be an insult about my hair, but fuck it, let's talk about barbers. Barbering is actually one of the oldest professions that we have on record. We have records going back to 5000 BC of people who, you know, would style and cut hair. They would cut hair with sharpened flint or bone or oysters. Anything that was hard enough to hold an edge, but soft enough that they could crack and keep that edge. And it was considered an educated person's profession. In accounts of very early civilization, if you were a barber, you were likely also a priest or a man of medicine. I don't know if you remember the stories about how barbers in medieval England were also surgeons. Well, that went back way further than medieval England. In ancient Aztec and Mayan civilizations, the way that you styled your hair would be a notifier of your place in society. It would show your trade or your rank if you were a soldier. And there would basically be communal squares that you would go to to get your hair cut, and these squares would be the same places that you would share knowledge and even buy and trade food. These squares would eventually become condensed into barber shops, which went by a lot of different names, but go back as far as we can tell to about 300 BC in Rome and Greece. Going to a barber was part of your daily routine in ancient Roman civilization. You would get up, you would go and have your hair touched up, you would go to the public baths, and then you would start your day. That made barbers necessary in ancient Roman society, which was enough to make a lot of barbers nobles. They were all tradesmen, and it was actually kind of rare for tradesmen to achieve noble status, but the necessity of barbers was enough that a lot of them were able to take that wealth and elevate their status. No matter who you were, you needed your haircut. As I said before, in the Middle Ages, barbers and surgeons were the same thing, but they also were wrapped into dentists. And I suppose also masseuses and spa technicians? And chiropractors and skin specialists. L look, they did a lot of stuff. You could be a surgeon without being a barber, but being a barber was kind of being like a high-class surgeon. And they got paid more than surgeons did. And the barber routine would be a haircut, but also a lot of medical procedures, like draining cysts and boils. It's not pretty. Barbers and surgeons and all those roles only started to separate as we ended up heading into the 18th and eventually 19th century. Trade specialization was a thing across all different trades at that point. And as medicine became more advanced, of course, we needed surgeons and doctors that were more specialists and less generalists. There's one last thing I want to talk about. In the 19th century, barbershops usually had huge tables set up so that people could play board games while they got their hair cut. And in fact, they became centers of gambling and even training for some of the most highly regarded board game players. I think that that's something we should bring back. I'm sure they were playing chess, but I would love to play a heavy strategic board game while I'm getting my hair cut. If I ever get a cut.